Last week I shared a video on personal style and just went through some of the vibes I'm channeling for 2023. After I made that video, I did indeed do a spot of online shopping, but I guess I just felt like there were some pieces that I still have room for in my wardrobe and don't currently have. I do feel like a few of these pieces are kind of more like autumn winter inspired, but given I live in Melbourne and even though it's summer right now, it's not really summer. It's like four different seasons in a day every day. So I figured I'm gonna get used out of them either way. First piece I got was this really cute woolen charcoal gray vest. I'm I'm really going through a vest phase at the moment like I have already been going through a vest phase for like the last year or so but especially at the moment I'm just really finding myself gravitating towards them when I saw this piece online I was a little bit worried that it was going to be kind of scratching my skin because I just hate that feeling but it is so soft and I just know this is gonna be something that I'm gonna wear a lot as the weather just gets slightly colder second piece is also from the Frankie shop and it's just a really simple black long skirt I had been looking for something like this for so long when it comes to style, I have definitely been feeling really inspired recently by the 90s. Pretty much my Pinterest board at the moment is just made up of these like really simple, minimal, like chic 90s inspired outfits and I am honestly obsessed and I felt like this piece was just integral to recreating some of the outfits that I had seen. The last piece that I got from the Frankie shop is these beige trousers. Given I wear trousers literally every day, I have no doubt that I'm going to get a lot of use out of these ones. The thing that made these ones just a little bit different to what I already have in my wardrobe was that they're a thicker material, they're also made of wool, so I figured they'll be a lot more comfortable and cozy during autumn winter. Yes, the next piece is indeed another vest but this one is different to all the other ones I have, I promise. It is so cozy. It is made of 70% wool and 30% cashmere. And I honestly just cannot wait to wear this piece. I feel like it would look so chic by itself, but also over a t-shirt, shirt, and just like layered, you know? And the last piece that I added to my wardrobe was you guessed it, another pair of trousers. But again, these ones are super thick, they're super warm, they're made of wool. Definitely feeling really inspired to make fashion content this year, so I will keep sharing this whole process and just new pieces that I'm adding and all the rest of it. back from the gym and I'm gonna make myself something to eat for breakfast. It's kind of brunch at this point given it's like 11 a.m. I'm really trying to add more protein into my diet at the moment. Pretty much just trying to add in protein at every meal. So this is just a very simple and easy meal that I've been making recently. At the farm's market on the weekend, I got just half a dozen fresh eggs. So I've got two left. I'm going to cook them up with some spinach, some kale, some turkey. And I also have half an avocado, which I'm just going to integrate. These are the strawberries that I also got from the farmer's market, which I'm gonna have as a little side to this meal.
I am going to an event tonight with New Denim. They have very kindly gifted me this singlet and jeans to wear to the event. I am currently really into dark denim. I love when the stitching is exposed and the denim is really thick and just like really rigid. So I really love these jeans. I'll definitely link them for you guys below. I got them in a size 24, but given I am going into the city and it is kind of cold tonight, I definitely need a jacket with this outfit. I have two different options. I will show you both of them and you guys can just let me know which one you think I should go with, even though technically I'm gonna have to make the decision right now. This is the first option. It is from a brand called Wildwood that I actually don't think exists anymore, but it is a beautiful forest green or like olive green leather jacket, which I love. Option number two is a really simple black leather blazer style jacket. This one is from the Frankie shop. I've had it for honestly so many years, but it's just a classic piece and it's something that I continue to come back to over the years. Anyways, these are the two options. Please let me know below which one you think I should wear. in Melbourne right now and we really just don't get that many nice days in Melbourne so I figure this is the perfect opportunity to go to the beach. Anyways, I think I'm gonna make us some chicken salads for dinner. We've been really obsessed with just salads in general recently but especially chicken salads. <laughs> going to add some fresh mint as garnish which I think will taste really good with this and of course every good salad needs a good sauce and this is the one that I'm going to be using I am obsessed with Nando's peri peri sauce we just got to the beach it's really windy Thank you. 